Here we go. This is the Grinch. I saw the picture on Facebook. Unfortunately, I tried to hunt down who posted it originally and I can't give them credit for posting it. But uh, then they directed me to Buster Balloon's uh, Facebook page, so Don Caldwell, Buster Balloons. This is uh, on his Facebook page, so I think it's okay to post it here. Anyway, and uh, this isn't exactly his, but it's really close. The mouth has been added on his photo. There was no mouth. I will show you how I do it. Now, this first one I made, I used two green 260s. When I'm making it right now, I'm only going to use one green 260. And we can use one white, which will go here and in the mouth. Then we will use uh, a red one, which will be kind of the top of the hat and the eyes. We'll use a scrap of black for the nose and a scrap of yellow for kind of around the eyes. So, let's see how we do it. I have a lime green 260. Tie it up. And I have left uh, what I'll call a fair amount uninflated right there. Okay. Um, I'll go back and forth again, but you know, ho hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll see how we do it. Um, so, I'm going to put two pinch twists. It'll be one. And another pinch twist. Kind of tie them together a little bit. So, those pinch twists will eventually go to the back right here. Um, I've got some, this was made a few days ago, so I had to modify it just a little bit. So it still looked good for today. Anyway, two pinch twists right there. Then we're going to do the, the back of the head. So we'll do about four fingers. About there. Then I'm going to do a pinch twist. Then we're going to do it again. So that, those two will be the, uh, the back of the head. I'm going to give a bit of a soft squeeze right there. And I am going to go up to the, this part will be the, the front. So I'm actually going to make this a little shorter than the, the, the back of the head. And, and a little softer. So hopefully you can see it's a little shorter. I'm going to wrap that around the pinch twist. Then we're going to soften it again. And we'll try to make this the same size on the front. We wrap that around a couple of times around the pinch twist. So now you can see, hopefully, just there, that these are a little bit smaller than the back ones. I think, you know, it's, it kind of gives it the narrow face look. Then I am going to do um, two, we'll call four inch or, or so, dog legs right now. And I'm just about out of balloon, and that's all right. I'm pretty much done with the green. Tie those around. Now, if you wanted to do this part one one cheek at a time, you sure can. I'm going to push these together, like flare them out, push them, and twist them. And that will be the face part. So I'm twisting in there, wrapping around once and twice. Oh, hopefully it's correct. You can see all of that. So I have my two pinch twists back here. Have the rest of the balloon here. This is what we'll tie onto the body. I'm not going to do the body though. We'll just leave it like this for now. Okay. Then I will grab uh, the red. You can do the eyes first, the hat first, whatever you want to do. Okay. Just we've got to this part here, and then I am going to do a uh, pinch twist on the red, and that will go around the pinch twist on the top of the, the head. And we'll say that we want, we're going to fold it about there, and then we'll fold that about there. So now I'm going to pull this, I'm going to let that un unravel. It doesn't matter. Right. I'll save that for the eyes in just a bit. We're tying up. Keeping that soft so I can put that twist back in there. Now we're going to take our white one. And this will go around the, uh, the head. So once again, any particular way you want to do this will work. I'm going to do a pinch twist. Then I'm going to wrap it around the head, top of the head that is. 
pushing the red one in between the two pinch twists. Take our end of balloon, wrap into the pinch twist again, the white pinch twist. And I feel like putting one more white pinch twist in there. So I'm going to. And now we pull that off. Okay. I'm going to uh, leave this, tie it up. That way I can put the the mouth in there. Now I'm not sure I, I should try the, the mouth with uh, various colors, maybe pink, maybe yellow, uh, maybe even red. You can try that if you like. I'm not sure if white's really the best color, but that's what I put in there. There we are, the eyeless, noseless Grinch. Let's uh, grab a bit of black. There we go. Okay. Tie it up. And let's pull that off. So we will put that onto the, the nose area. Actually, I'll, I'll do that in a little bit. I think I will do the um, scrap of red for the eyes. And now what I do with this one, I blow it up maybe three fingers. You can do it with two fingers as well. I'm gonna tie it, but I, I don't wanna pull it really tight because I want there to be some stretchiness in there. Now we're going to pull the end off. And we're going to twist. And of course, get them as close to equal as possible. I find this is the easiest way to make two equal balloons. If I blow up one balloon, then I blow up the next one. Golly, one of my eyes is just noticeably different size. This seems to work well for me. Now I'm going to push this one right through the, the face. Okay. Push, push, push. Hopefully we don't explode it, of course. Okay. Where's that other eye? I think I should have uh, made my, my red balloon a little squishier. But we're going to leave it like that just for now. See, we're basically right there is where we are. Okay. Now we'll go do the, the yellow. And we have that that's more than we're gonna need. We're gonna want this quite soft. And I'm gonna tie this around the, the base of the head. Then I will decide a minute. I'm going to push that behind the eye just a little bit. I'd say there's probably 700 ways to put this together. You pick the way that works for you. If I was to do it again, I'd probably do all this first and then do the back of the head or the front of the head. But right now, this is what I'm doing. Tying that in again so it doesn't un or come apart on me. Now I'm going to do two... Maybe three fingers, not much, but I, I really want this soft, and I want a lot of twisting in there. Okay? And then I'm going to do about the same size bubble, pull the end off, tie this up, but when we tie it up, make sure that we don't make it tight, because we need it to be quite, uh, quite soft. Okay? There, tie. That should do, I hope. Now I am going to push this through the back of the head, or sorry, the middle. Okay. Try to find the yellow end that got away from me. Come on. It's in there, I can see it, I just can't reach it. There we go, perfect. Okay. Now we're opening up and we're pushing the yellow one through. As I said, there's easier ways to do it than how I'm doing it, so uh, do an easier way. Okay, now we're going to take this, wrap it around a few times. That should hold everything. Okay, now it's still not in there, is it? You'll have to excuse me while I push the balloon down and try to shove my eye, eyebrows in, or eyes, I guess. 
There we go. Okay. Perfect. Not quite, but we're getting there. I'm pulling the, the red. This definitely gives you enough time to follow along, I'm sure. There we go. Okay, let's get that eye out a bit farther then. Okay, I'd say we're getting there. Getting there. We're about there. Now we will take what will be the nose and that. Tie it around again. I tie quite a bit around those pinch twists because it works well, I think. There we are. All my struggles, the hat came up. So we'll just push that down, just so that you can see where we're going. Okay. And then, I think one of the great additions to this one was, which again, I, I'm sorry, I can't remember who posted it, and I looked to find out who put the face on, and I couldn't find it. Sorry. So anyway, we have a 160. I've blown it up about um, five inches. I'm going to tie the end here. Then I'm going to find about halfway, put an angle in there, right about there, another angle, and another. Okay. Now this is, once again, I'll get the 260 out of the way. We'll tie it underneath. Any way that you can get this to hold on to the, the head, we we'll go there. Then we'll take this other and we'll wrap that underneath. And after you put everything on, you're going to need to re readjust the face anyway. So, there will be the mouth. We'll take our white balloon, we'll do about uh, three fingers. Now this is how I did it, There's, like I say, more ways to do it, but this is how I did it. I, I'm making a small two bubbles, we're going to tie them together, there. okay, good, we'll drop it, we'll pick it up again, we'll let the air out of that here, and pushing, of course, uh, cut these off when, when you're doing it, but right now I'll just keep it like it is. And that is how, well, how I assume Don Caldwell put it together. He probably did it way differently, and my guess is he probably does it much quicker. But uh, anyway, if, uh, you know, I, I hope you like that, and, uh, well... There it is, the Grinch. Thank you very much and have a great day.